Okay, now in our third tutorial, I'm going to show you how to begin creating depth with your sunglasses. So you want to open your layers palette. Um, if you do not see your layers palette over here, uh, you go to window and make sure your layers box is checked. Okay, my layers palette happens to be on the left hand side because that's where I moved it to. And now what we need to do is name our layer one. Okay, we're going to call this original shape. Okay, once you type original, which I spelled incorrectly, let me fix that. Okay, once your layer is named original shapes, you want to open it up by clicking that little triangle and click on your frames. Okay, now um, when you click on your frames, first thing you want to do is duplicate it. So you click this little button up here, the three lines in your layers palette and hold it down and click duplicate original shapes. Okay? That duplicates every one of these. Okay? Now, the layer that shows up on top is going to have the word copy at the end of it. Double click it and call it um, double click it and call it duplicate shapes. So take away copy and we will call it duplicate shapes. Okay, then click OK. Now, we should have two folders with, with four layers in each folder. Okay? Now, on our duplicate shapes layer, we want to unlock the image and delete it because we only need one image to trace, which should stay in our original shapes. So we're going to keep this layer. Okay? So close your original shapes layer and click on the layer that your frames are. Now, we're going to make this a dark gray color okay and what we're going to do is just nudge it a little bit so it's offset a hair from your um, original shape okay then we're going to do the same thing with each one of our arms we're going to click and make that the same color gray as you did your picture your glasses frames then we're going to pull our duplicate layer below our original layer in the layers palette. This way it's we can see our blue, well my blue is on the top and my gray is on the bottom. Okay, So open up your duplicate shape and now we, we can begin offsetting these a little bit. Now notice I can't see my gray frames because my image is above them. So we want to make sure our image stays on the bottom make sure it stays locked. So now click on your frames and nudge a little bit to offset it so you can see a little. This will give your frames um, a little bit of a third dimension okay, and some thickness. It will give us depth. Do the same for both of the arms of your sunglasses okay and now I'm going to do the other one just move that up a little bit nudge it over beautiful okay now if we hide our image so far this is our sunglasses so I think my frames need to be nudged up a little bit more okay and you can also change the size of your frames to give it a little bit more depth. Okay, if that works better, then you can do it that way. Okay, now I like the way that looks. Okay, so there's our first couple steps. All right, now in the next tutorial, I'm going to begin to show you how to add a really cool, funky pattern to your shapes. Uh, excuse me, to your sunglasses. Then we're going to add a glare to the lenses and you'll have a really nifty pair of funky sunglasses.